mournful, morose, magnificent. Cliché it may be, but one wonders that if these walls could talk, after a thousand years, what would they say? I like to think it would be something pleasurable. Where once these steps spiralled to the abbot's grand library, the destruction of that most magnificent bibliotheque means they now lead only to a sheer drop of certain doom. Following Henry's ascension to the head of the Church of England, monasteries such as this were almost assured in their destruction. Trophies to a king's hubris. And oh, yet, yes, if they've got nuns. Oh, look, this bloody proletariat. I've booked to film here today. Hello, middle class viewers. It's, it's me, Ted Dribbler. Why are you here, Dribbler? This is a site of clean, regal history. There are no smelting furnaces here. Well, no, but it's a very special site in the history of the area. And it's, it's a very personal site for me, too. My apologies, Ted. I forgot that sometimes real history can be appreciated by others like you. Pray continue, you prole with a soul. Oh, cheers, it's very nice of you to say. Now, as I was saying, this place is very special to my history. You see, when I were a lad, we used to bring the lassies up here and get up to all sorts of business with them. <laughs> it were here, on this spot, where I got me first ever Doppler and Shandy. Oh, <laughs> right where you fella there stood, actually. Oh, she were a right game, lass. It were bloody lovely. Where once on this historic land was spilt the blood of noble, stoic monks, now is merely spilt the semi skim from the pouches of the working class. The past is a better place to be living.